Hello! Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I did this Little Red Riding Hood themed nail art. This particular nail art look is composed of stamping and layering of polish. I've often heard this technique referred to as pond nail art. I can only assume it's because it looks like looking into water when you look at the final finished product. Because you have to use jelly polishes for this look, one of my friends calls it a jelly sandwich, and I think that's honestly the most perfect name you could give it. To start off, I'm using this blue base polish from Bees Knees Lacquer. This is Abjuration. This polish is a jelly polish and it's got this gorgeous, gorgeous red shimmer. Just look how pretty it is. Because it's a jelly polish, it's really quite sheer. But with the amount of layers we're going to do, it's going to end up being quite opaque, especially because of the stamping. The plate I'm stamping with today is Maniology's Happily Never After Little Red Riding Hood plate. So the polishes I'm using today for stamping is pretty much a tour of Emma's favourite stamping polishes. I'm starting it off with Maniology's Mirror Mirror, and I'm going to use this to get the trees in the background. So once your base polish is dry, we can do the first layer of stamping. You want to make sure your base polish is really quite dry, otherwise when you stamp onto it, if it's still kind of wet, you might end up pulling up part of the polish. Once the stamping polish is dry, I'm just going back in with abjuration and I'm going to do a very thin coat. Well, I didn't do a very thin coat. You should do a very thin coat of your base polish. Now to give it some more depth, I'm going in with increasingly lighter colours. This polish is my favourite non-stamping polish for stamping. It is Artistic Colour Revolution's Heart of Chrome. And I just, if you look at my Instagram, you can just see it all over there. Especially for really gothy manicures, it just comes out every time I'm doing that or mirror mirror. And I'm just picking up the same trees. I'm kind of placing them slightly lower, but also in between, so I'm not just covering over what I've already done. I wanted it to look quite natural. I didn't want it to be really uniform because then it wouldn't look like you were in a scary dark forest. And again, once that's dry, I'm going back in and doing another coat of abjuration. And then I'm going in with my last colour for trees, which is Maniology's Yummy Gummy. It just it keeps making a reappearance. I just really love that it's not white, it's just that kind of off-white colour. And I'm going in and I'm picking up the same trees. And I'm just going to place this one lower than the silver trees. Once again, I'm going back in with my base polish and I'm just painting over that. And last but not least, I'm going in with Maniology Straight Up Black. And this time I'm going to use the image of the wolf and Little Red Riding Hood. Because of the shape of the nails, it made most sense to not have Little Red Riding Hood and the wolf on the same nail. There was not really enough space down at the point. So I picked this up and then I just split it. And splitting it's really easy, it's just exactly the same as removing any other excess polish. So I'm just taking my lint roller, and you can use tape, you don't have to use a lint roller, and going in very carefully and removing a little red riding hood. And finally I just stamp that on. It works out quite well because it kind of hides the bottom of the trees where it looks a bit, a bit odd that they just stop. And then I'm just top coating it. You've got to be gentle when you top coat it. If you're using stamping polish, you, you might smudge it if you're not using a water-based top coat, which I'm not, I'm just using SE Speed Setter. So I'm just being really gentle and gliding it over the top of the nail rather than touching, like actually pressing the brush into it. And I just thought I would uh, move it around a little bit so you can see the layers. Cause the shimmer is gorgeous, but um, it can be a little bit overpowering. I think the shimmer really adds to the overall look. I don't think the look would be nearly as nice without it, but to show you the different depth of the layers and that you can still see those trees in the background, I just wanted to move it around a little bit and show you. And here's the, the absolute final look. This is the look with the nails I started with originally. So not, not the nail that I have just shown you how I did it, but the original set. And you can see on my ring finger I removed the wolf and replaced it with the Red Riding Hood this time. And then the other nails, I just decided to add more trees. And again, that's using Maniology's Yummy Gummy. I didn't coat it with abjuration this time. Those are just straight yummy gummy. So thank you all for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. I really enjoyed making this video. 
so much. I don't know what it is about this specific look and this specific tutorial, but it just made me really excited. Um, and I hope you get the same feeling or the same joy out of watching this that I get out of making it. As always, let me know down in the comments what you think, and I will talk to you all later. Bye!